Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play, you're Sambo and joining us as always is Yogurt, our level 18 Goblin Shaman. Say good day Yogurt. Kazam! Kazam and big Kazam, hello to you guys watching along from home. You know what, it's great to have you here in Azshara, that's right we are back in Azshara, the symbol of the Horde as you can tell there and I was surprised that a few of you didn't realise that. How funny is that? There you go, it is the Horde symbol. I don't think there's an alliance shaped continent anywhere else in the world of Warcraft. So maybe a bit of Horde favouritism there. Anyway, you can see we've got a number of tasks that we've got to complete today. We've got to go and kill ourselves some Spite Lash, Storm Furies and Sea Callers. And if you click on that, you can see that these are the Naga. We've also got a task here to get some mutilated Mist Wing carcasses. That means we've got to kill the Mist Wings that fly around the cliffs here. And they're going to form a snack for the Giants. Because we're trying to befriend some of these Giants around the cliffs. So we can get some clues a bit later on. Got another one here which is to collect some Azshirite samples, five of those and they're all around the nearby cliffs and if we get time we can hop over here and investigate the Sea Shrine which is a Naga Shrine at the Storm Cliffs and that's for a guy called Torg to crush. So lots and lots of things for us to do today. Now I think it's time for us to get out a pet so mm, it's always a tough one here. We've got a Celestial, oh yeah the Celestial Dragon. You know what we're going to leap straight in and just choose him. I wonder if he's got a sound. Oh, he has. Bit ferocious as well. And of course, he looks like a sparkle pony, but a pet. So that's kind of cool. Let's have a look and see what we'd want to do first. Probably the, yeah, I want to head over there to the east to get rid of these Naga because I'm not a huge Naga fan. I really don't like them. Now, I also want to make sure that my lightning shield is up. So we're definitely going to cast that. And of course, that our, whoa, hello Celestial Dragon. <laughs> going crazy there. That our weapon imbues are up as well. The flame tongue weapon there on both weapons. And not forgetting, you can see them up the top here. The buffs, you can see flame tongue one hour. Or you can hover over them here in your character screen. And you can see the flame tongue buff written there in green for one hour as well. Now let's not forget to use our totems, by the way. I keep forgetting it when we're fighting. We've got fire totems. There we go. And don't forget that the goblin totems are kind of funny. They're all mechanical. You can see it there. Really, really neat. And we also have earth totems. Now what's the difference? Well, the fire one here is a searing totem. It's the only one I've got at the moment. And that means that it repeatedly attacks an enemy within 25 yards for 11 and a half fire damage. This one here is the earth one. Bit different. It's a protection one because that gives us a shield shield that absorbs 235 damage for 10 seconds and then up to an additional 59 every 5 seconds thereafter. So they're both, there we go, you have them both out at the same time. You can see that shield around me there, it's glowing green and that is from the Bulwark Totem if you like. So I can have those two out and I keep forgetting to drop them down all the time. Now they are on a cooldown of course, there we go, and the cooldown is this one here and it is a one minute cooldown. This one here I don't know if it does have a cooldown or not, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Now back in the day you used to be able to have a ability to withdraw all of those totems but I think what you do nowadays if we just drop the fire one one more time is you can right click up here up at the top left underneath your character portrait and and if you right click it makes it disappear there we go so that's an easy way of doing it not sure if we've got the remove totem ability in fact let's have a look in here fire totems no earth totems i don't think we're going to have it yet it's probably something we're going to get a little bit later on i'd imagine yeah i can't see it there maybe you guys can let me know if i'm missing it i'm just having a look here through the normal abilities yeah it's nothing that we've got right now all right so anyhow off we go to gut a fish so this is the naga now let's not forget also that we've got rocket jump woohoo and it <coughs> allows us excuse me to get around as shara a lot faster oh and listen to that we are now at the storm cliffs this is a really cool area it was a really neat area back in the day as well although back in the day it was a lot different back in the day in fact there was a dragon that used to roam around here oh look at that an asherite formation that's what we need and we also need these guys here so i'm going to drop a totem but first let's get a lightning bolt going there we go now watch this it will attack hopefully just going to watch that yeah there it is that is the actual searing totem 
doing that damage there. So that's really cool. And of course, I don't know why I haven't done that in the past because it means that these guys die a lot, lot faster. And that's something that I'm definitely up for. So I wonder if we can pull one of these over here. Come on, come over here. Get its attention and pull it back to the totem. We'll get his attention, rather her attention as well. Now I'm definitely gonna need to drop one of these bulwark ones and that gives me the extra damage mitigation there. Oh my God, it's all going on, isn't it? All right, so yeah, definitely having the totems out makes a massive difference. Not only makes a massive difference to my health, and there we go, a healing surge there, just in case I was worried about my health, but it also means that we quickly kill these things. They're a lot faster to die if we use all of our abilities. So let's go up here and try that again. Hello there. And again, don't forget that we must have our lightning shield up as well. Wow, with everything going, they die a lot faster than I'm used to. Look at that view, folks. It's amazing. I remember the very first time I came over here and explored these cliffs. And in fact, I went all the way up here. It was, well, it looked a little bit different back in the day, but I had no quests around here. I just literally wanted to explore because back in the day, as Shara wasn't known for having jam-packed content so it was more of an exploratory trip for me and that's when i found this dragon around here where the secret lab is now oh god it was so much fun i remember that discovering this area and i was here for a whole day just wandering around checking out stuff and i remember finding a statue over the back and i think i can see it in the background it's still there i'll talk about that in just one minute let's get this totem down i don't think i need to bother too much about the shield though with this guy or this gal Look at that, all over Rover, so fast, and that's the Spite Lash Sea Caller. So there are a couple of different ones. Now he's got a pet, or she's got a pet. I don't have a talk. Deal with them fairly quickly. Now these statues that I'm, oh, hello. I really want to talk about these statues. Let's bring you out. Dropping all them totems. Now what I could do, of course, is drop those totem abilities straight onto my hotbar. And you know what, I might just do that because it saves me going into these menus here. So I'm just going to pop, uh, in fact, hang on, let's see, I'd probably go into my P screen. There we go. And go to the fire totems there and drag that down. There we go. And then go into my earth ones and drag that one down. And now their abilities on my hotbar. Now I'm actually going to pop them up the top here. I think it's going to be better for me. There we go. So now they're easy access. Really easy access. Now, the statue I'm talking about, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this in the video. I'm going to go down a little bit, but see way over there in the distance where I'm, in fact, I'm going to zoom right in so that we get rid of me. There where I'm wriggling my mouse, there are two legs. I remember coming across them back in the old day. And back in the old days, my draw distance wasn't this far so i never saw these until i literally stumbled upon them and it was just something that stuck with me i'm glad that they've left them in the game though because they are very very iconic as anyone who has played around this area will be able to tell you there we go dropping those two totems it's much easier now that they are on my hot bar without a doubt Look at that, these guys are dropping like flies. I can also see over here, we've got ourselves a copper vein and gonna be really careful not to fall off the side of the cliff because it's a bit of a way down there and a real pain in the jacksy to get back up. There we go, you can see all the way down there, we've got a sand crawler. But yeah, exploring all of these nooks and crannies. And there's that bridge, I remember that as well. Back in the day, it was really, really neat fun. And like I say, it brings back all of those memories of classic vanilla WoW. It's too far away. Too far away, that's our rocket barrage there, which is a goblin racial, of course. And you know you're in Naga territory because of the flags. And these were here back in the day as well. And I remember walking through here thinking, uh-oh, I'm probably gonna get myself into a bit of trouble. Let's get that totem up. And down they go. As for you, see you later. All right, let's cross this bridge. Oh yeah, the memories are flooding back now. Oh man. Gee, I really, oh, look at that over in the background there. You can see that things have definitely changed because that didn't used to be there. There used to be that goblin outpost down in the middle of the bay.
All right, now what are we after, by the way? We're after Spite Lash Storm Furies. One more of those, and I'm pretty sure that's it there. Yep, so let's get close enough just to get one of our casted skills off there. And probably got time for another one as well. We'll also drop the totem. And of course that can wind up the fire damage. And there we go. Six out of six. Now we're also looking for Spite Lash Sea Callers. So that's a Storm Fury. Although, you know what? There's no point in not killing them because it's all XP. And all XP is good XP as you well know. Make sure my Lightning Shield is still up. You know, it's funny, after all of these years playing WoW, I still love the combat in WoW. I never ever seem to tire of it. Unlike a lot of other games which get boring and repetitive after a while. I don't know what it is about WoW, honestly. Because at the end of the day, it's sort of similar. It's just hotkey tab targeting. It's no different than a lot of MMOs out there today. So I don't know what makes WoW special, but it is for me. And uh, especially compared to a Wildstar, you guys know, I've definitely been playing a little bit of Wildstar, trying to give it a good crack, but I just can't get into it. I don't know why there's just that special something is missing. Where are you running away to? There we go. And I know that not every game is going to be WoW, but there's something about WoW that just hits me in all the right places. It strikes a chord, and it's a classic, and I love it. So much content here, of course, as well. For me, at the end of the day, a game has to be fun. And that's exactly what this is for me. All right, is that an Azshirite? No, it's Copper Vein over there. Another bridge. Oh, don't want to fall off. Let's grab this gal here. We'll drop ourselves a totem. Oh, and she attacked my totem, which is, of course, really clever on her behalf. You can see it firing off its fireballs there. That's a good move on her behalf, and the NPCs and the enemies are certainly not dumb in this game, that's for sure. And look at that, we've got ourselves an absolutely gorgeous sunset going on in the background as well. I love it up here, listen to that. It is absolutely classic, isn't it? We love it. All right, come here, you. I need you for my quest. And I also need some more Azurite samples as well. I only got one of five that I can see there on my quest tracker. Now, how are you doing there, Celestial Dragon? Hope you're okay. Oh, what's that over there? A bit of a shrine. And again, that Naga did get rid of my totem fairly quickly. So, very clever. And discovered the Raven Quest, Raven Crest rather, monument. And that is the monument that I was talking about earlier. And we'll definitely go check that out in just a second once I've dealt with these guys. Here we go. One more Spite Lash Sea Caller slain. And we're done with this quest. I love this game so much. The sense of adventure, even though I've pretty much explored every inch of the game, is still really cool. Look at that. There are those legs that I was talking about before. But you know what? I'm just going to get rid of the companion here. If you don't mind, oh, I can't use my... I haven't updated my little... There we go, dismiss. My little add-on there, which brings up my random ability. So there we go. We'll just have to use the actual interface. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a whole bunch of stuff here and go nuts. Give myself a shield. So I want to take care of a whole lot of these at once. See it there absorbing damage thanks to the shield. I don't have a clock. Now I'm also going to bring over the general in the background there. see if we can grab him. General Fang Fera. Now you can see that that is actually a rare. He's got himself a silver portrait, which is awesome. Let's make sure that our totem is up there. This is great. We are actually killing a rare. That is fantastic. And once again, silver portrait equals rare. And that means that inside him is hopefully a nice green. There we go. Pioneer trousers of the bear. Some leather pants there. In fact, that reminds me, we do need to have a look in our bags because I've probably got some stuff that I can use. So those are, well, no, they're worse than what I've got on actually. So we'll be able to sell them on the auction house. We'll pop them up the top there. Got myself a sturdy quarter staff 
of the eagle that is a two-handed staff right now that's no good for me because I prefer my two one-hander weapons so I'm going to pop that on the auction house later as I will the tiger's eye there and just making sure that I haven't got any oh I can open some clams we've got four of those to open oh got ourselves a pearl there as well which is neat I want to put that clam meat and the pearl on the AH on the auction house and the copper ore of course I'm going to refine later on linen cloth we can use for our tailoring so let's drop them up the top there now let's not forget we've got these artillery signals here as well which is really really cool but right now I want to get the spike lash C caller and there's one right there so thank you very much now we can also use these purges and cleanse spirits let's not forget that and the wind shear that I keep forgetting to use which actually acts like an interrupt to these casters and I should be using them a whole lot more than I am All right, definitely want to kill this guy. There we go. Hello, hello. And again, wind shear. There we go, interrupting the cast. Silly Sambo hasn't been using that. But yeah, the combat here is just still exciting. It's been, let's face it, 10 years. Coming up on our 10-year anniversary here. And WoW has been around for such a long time, it's hard to believe it's actually been a decade. I cannot believe it and it still remains fresh for me. I don't know any other game I've played constantly for 10 years and uh, managed to still be interested in it after all this time. It's absolutely amazing. Now Lady Silthra, I wonder if she's got anything to do with our quest investigating the sea shrine. It's not the one we need but you know what? It's a named enemy. Why not? We'll start off from range with a lightning bolt attack there. We will interrupt her. There we go, that's right. Try and cast. Now, I'm going to drop my Searing Totem and my Bulwark Totem. Oh, and she is definitely not easy. Look at that. I've only got her down about 25%. She's gone for my Totems. I'm going to put them back. Definitely want to be using this Wind Shear ability here to interrupt her. Make sure all of our buffs are up. And she's taken our totem down again. Let's drop it again. She's very, very smart. Got it down to about 75% damage. Trying to keep interrupting her. I love these long fights. And down she goes. A whole bunch of XP for us there. Getting rid of the totem. And I am very, very happy about that. Now, what have we got here? A power stone. I'd imagine that that is going to be part of a quest after we've investigated the shrine later on. So let's go over and do that right now because we're probably doing things a little bit out of order. And yikes, you can see it over there. That's where I need to go, I'm pretty sure. Listen to that cool music in the background as well, using our rocket jump there. You know, I keep forgetting to use the rocket barrage as well, one of our little abilities, our racial abilities. And there's the head too. I must show you that, the head of that fallen statue over there. And there is a lot of lore around this statue, so make sure you look it up on WoW Wiki because WoW Wiki has a whole bunch of really cool articles if you're interested in the World of Warcraft lore. Now, while we run there, let's have a look at the calendar and see if there are any events coming up. And you can see that there are. In a couple of weeks' time, we've got the Midsummer Fire Festival. And to be completely honest, I'm really looking forward to that because there are a couple of achievements that I haven't got yet for the Midsummer Fire Festival. Now, if I wind shear her, it should force her to come close to us. There we go. Because, of course, she can't cast. It's a good way of bringing ranged enemies towards you. Alright, pulling up the roots on our totem there, and that's where we need to head down there. Now, I'm still looking for Ashara, or rather Asherite as well, which is, yeah, we're just out of range of that, unfortunately, right now, which is why we haven't seen any. Now, let's pull a whole bunch of these guys and kill them off at once, or gals, as the case may be. And then we'll attack you, and I'm also going to drop a totem and attack you. There we are, bring them all over here, hopefully. I'm going to give myself a bit of a healing surge there just to top up my health because I may well have bitten off more than I can chew. How unusual, right? Thank God for heals is all I'll say. 
we go. And putting up my shield there because I do have a couple now. I've got very, very low mana now. I've got to be careful. Whew. All right. I reckon I didn't do too badly there. That's what I think. All right. Let's have a look at our bags there. And I'm pretty sure we got some, yes, leather. Some leather hand wraps and they've got one less intellect one less stamina but more spirit and armor you know what i actually value that more than what i've got on so i'm gonna wear those because i really do want that regen and let's not forget we are a level 18 level 18 enhancement chamois so we do need that all right success indeed that was a good way of clearing out that whole area we've still got residue of our shield that's just disappeared now so definitely in terms of the totems the searing totem we can drop as much as we like it's the shielded one that is a cooldown and to be honest that does make total sense because otherwise it would be too op all right let's open these three barnacled clams and all we need to do is listen and we'll be able to tell if we got any pearls out of that oops bit of a frame rate drop there that'll be fraps rather than the game all right let's take care of you come on come and see me and i'm going to wind shear them to bring them over let's drop our totem So as long as I've got mana, then that totem... Hey, okay, don't you go... Look at them running away. What a big chicken. As long as I've got mana or mana, wherever you'd like to pronounce... Rather, wherever in the world you come from depends uh, on how you pronounce it. Mana, mana. That's the only limiting thing with the searing totem. So there's no cord in there. God, it looks amazing around here, doesn't it? I love the look of... Wow, so much. But anyway, speaking of Wild Star, like we were before, just because I am not a great big fan doesn't mean that you guys shouldn't like it either. So how are you finding it? If you're playing Wild Star, have you got sick of it yet? Does the content dry up? Is it still as much fun as you were having in the beginning of the game? I will definitely be keen to know. All right, here we go. And native, gosh, greens are dropping left, right, and center today. Native robe of the owl. You can see more intellect and spirit, less armor. What does it look like, just out of interest? It does look kind of cool. Hmm, less armor, but more intellect and more spirit. I think I'm actually going to wear that, you know, because I prefer the spirit and intellect because of the mana problem that we just had. I mean, you saw me running out before. And let's face it, that looks a lot more chamois like. Cool, we got ourselves scared. Ah! Oh my god, I didn't notice them there. Okay, let's put up all our shields. Going to town on these guys. Yikes! Wind shear, the caster. There we go, interrupting them. Whew. Okay, and here we go, investigating the sea shrine. The stone in the center of the shrine emits a faint glow and roars with the power of the angry sea. Interesting, the keystone shard. The air around this strange stone crackles with energy. The stone itself is smooth and icy cold. It pulses periodically as you run your hands over it, like the crashing of the surf. God, I love these descriptions. It's so cool, isn't it? A wedged-shaped piece appears to be missing from the top surface of the artifact. This keystone shard is likely the key to unlocking the secrets of the stone. Search the grounds near the temple and locate the keystone shard. And that is what is missing. Find the keystone shard nearby that's what we have to do uh, i do want to loot these guys first though there we go another clam and i do realize that we're also kind of running out of time but let's see if we can quickly find this shard if we have a look at the map and listen to that music it's so awesome here we go it's probably okay so they reckon it's over there somewhere god it looks amazing look at this i love it so much look we can adventure down here we've got the sea off in the distance there and there it is there is the keystone shard down there i love the look of this and look out there i hope you can see that in the youtube video the epic music there that is that fortress out in the middle there the goblin fortress we were talking about before and of course you can see the horde ships docked at the bay below us are the cliffs the sea and above us is the autumn forest and that's apt because it's just finished being autumn here in Australia so it definitely has looked like that right outside my house in fact got all these golden leaves so yeah really really cool We're loving this game still 10 years it's still amazing good on you blizzard it's GG all right here we go let's see if we can take down this guy yeah, 
Yeah, definitely that totem helps something chronic, and I can't believe that I haven't been using that in the past. Silly Sambo. There we go. The Keystone Shard that has been retrieved let's see if it's one of these items that actually has a flavor text on it because that would be kind of cool uh perfectly smooth icy cold to the touch right no not quite but that's all right all right let's give ourselves a bit of a boost oh i did it again i did it running up that hill as kate bush would say so that was a bit of a waste of time wasn't it where do i need to go i'm pretty sure i need to bring it back here and you are going to be a problem so let's get rid of you That's right, killed by death. Oh my god, will you look at this? My bags are filling up something chronic. This is terrible. Oh man, I'm going to have to get myself off to a vendor or something at some point. All right, let's get back up here, shall we? And see if we can hand this quest in. All right, the Keystone Shard. Here we go, the Naga Power Stone. By the way, remember that game on Dreamcast? Power Stone, great game. Pulses with an expectant hum. The Keystone Shard slides into place and previously invisible runes suddenly erupt onto the surface of the stone, shimmering in blue and violet hues. Oh, this is awesome. Your knees buckle as powerful arcane currents suddenly race into your body. Oh my lord, I think we need to do one of these. Oh, I shudder. Oh, what is the one where you... I can't remember the one. Is it fear? Wait a minute. Yeah, it's that one there. That's what I was after. Okay, it's time to get scared. What's going on here? Oh my god, a magical barrier pulses around us, chilling our bones. We feel secure behind this enchanted wall. And in fact, if we zoom right out, you can see it there, the blue bubble. And for 15 minutes, we've got the storm war. The might of the sea surrounds you, increasing all of your resistances by 10. Torg 2 Crush will want to know what you've discovered here. Return to Torg 2 Crush at the Southern Rocketway Terminus in Azshara with news of your discovery. Okay, that is really cool. Um, definitely want to be doing that, and that is back here. In fact, we need to be heading back into that direction anyway. So let's fight our way there. And that's, I think, where we'll... Oh, wind chair, where we will wrap up the episode. That's right. Don't you mess with me. Don't you mess with me. Here we go. Can we use the rocket chair? Okay, it kind of worked that time because we're not running up the hill. Silly Sambo. I love these. Lava Lash and Primal Strike are great abilities, by the way. And a Shaman, if you're doing an Enhancement Shaman, they are very, very fast. It's very fast melee. It's almost like a mini rogue once you get up to the slightly higher levels. It's a ton of fun. It really, really is. All this glorious XP. In fact, if we hover over here, you can see we are 79% of the way through level 18. So we are getting there slowly. Wind shear. Purge the enemy target, removing any beneficial effects. And that's really, really good to have, by the way. Because quite often they're buffed up the wazoo. So I need to remember to use that as well as using my totems. Clean spirit removes all curses from ourselves. That's what that is, or any friendly target. Getting all these goodies, my bag. I mean, I do like it, but gosh, my bags are going to be filling up something chronic. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, we're nearly back. Hello there. How are you? I will be your destroyer for the day. It's a bit weird too, by the way, that you can't skin these guys, I know, but they are technically classed as humanoids, and of course you can't skin humanoids range. in the game. That would just be a little creepy. Bring back the totem. I love its despawning animation, it's really cool. Here we go, running through the lush autumn fields. Wind shear, that's right, that's that noise, that noise you hate to hear in PvP, by the way, because it means that you are about to get silenced. Wow. 
And we're nearly there. Hello, little bunny rabbit. Slash love, of course, for the achievement. There we go. We don't kill the bunny rabbits. There's a cliff crasher. We're going to be dealing with them a little bit later on in the series as well. And that's why we have to collect those, what are they? The mutilated mistwing carcasses later on. And of course, the Azurite samples later too. We've completely run out of time. I can't believe how fast time flies here in the world of Warcraft. I just love this game so, so, so much. We'll return to Torg though very, very quickly. Now he was the orc, if I remember right. And there's a troll. Hello, man. Hello. You be the man. Oh, I do miss playing trolls. Talk to Crush. Draw hog. Hello there. To gut a fish. There we go. He scans the horizon and still they come. They are like a plague yogurt. But with strength like yours, we will crush them someday. There we go. A whole bunch of Dabu. A whole bunch of XP there. Report to two crush an energy barrier, you say. That's right. That's what's around me, you silly orc. Look at that big blue thing. Did you not see that? This explains a great deal. I've seen firsthand how Naga leaders have been able to turn aside the blades of some of my best warriors. Now we know the source of their power, yo. It. So let's finish this. And here we go, Sisters of the Sea. Two Naga witches have been masterminding the assault on this outpost. They've repelled direct attacks from some of my best grunts, but you can finish the job where others have failed. Seek out and slay Lady Silistra. Of course, we've already done that today. And Lady Vesra at the eastern edge of the cliffs around the ruins of the ancient Night Elven Colossus. You will first need to destroy the power stones that give them their strength. Do not disappoint me, shaman. So there we go. We've got our objectives. And that is that we need to kill Lady Silistra and Lady Vestra by disabling their power stones. And you can see there we get ourselves a really cool looking vest as well. But we may or may not be able to wear that under our current dress. I'm not not sure so, about so. that we will definitely zug zug definitely be accepting that and you can see of course that's where we need to head that's where we were today next episode though we're going to go back to the Azurite collection and you can see that there's a whole big area that we need to roam around to go and collect them and we need to mutilate the mist wings at the same time that we're collecting the Azurite so that we can fulfill the requirements for this quest here a gigantic snack but that's it folks we have totally run out of time on behalf of myself Sambo and Yogurt our little level 18 shaman is saying take care Hope you guys are having a fantastic week wherever you are in the world. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We'll see you then and bye-bye. <laughs>